After I recorded this past weekend's Weekend Weird Falls, I started thinking about how incredibly fortunate it was that Cheryl Bradshaw didn't go on her date with Rodney Alcala because she found him to be creepy. Now, if you don't know what or who I'm talking about, Rodney Alcala was a serial killer who was a contestant on the Dayton Game Show back in the 70s who won by Cheryl Bradshaw picking him from Three Bachelors. Now, after she talked to him, she refused to go on a date with him because she found him to be very creepy. And indeed, he was. Um, if you listened, you know, to last week's, last weekend's episode um, about him, uh, you would probably agree. But anyway, um, I also started thinking about how people are quick to warn others about meeting people from, like, dating apps and dating sites these days. So, I decided to dig into finding out just how dangerous meeting someone from a date nap is. And that's what we're talking about today. Triple M Studios proudly presents Midweek Mini. And here's your host, Andrea Lee. All right, and welcome to today's episode of the uh, Midweek Mini. And, you know, I'm Andrea. Now, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I have dated several men that I met on the Internet. Now, meeting people these days is really hard. Um, And it seems like the older you get, the harder it gets. But, I mean, we've had COVID. um, And I'm not into bars. So, that just, like rolls out a bunch of places you know to meet somebody if you're not a bar fly so now i do have to say that i haven't dated everybody that i've ever talked to on these apps now you know you can pick up weird vibes from people just by chatting with them so when i get those weird vibes i just like block (laughs) and move on but anyway there's a lot of scammers on those apps too but that's a story for another day now the internet can be a dangerous place if you don't use common sense If you've ever watched the ID um, channel show, Web of Lies, you'll see just how people are um, if you've never experienced it for yourself. And hopefully you've never had a bad experience. Um, So, um, if you've never checked out that show, you should. I'm sure you can probably find it on their um, Discovery Plus app. Now, the first one I'm going to talk about, it took place back in 2016. A guy named Adam Hillary met up with um, a girl named Haley Bustos. And they met on a date nap called Plenty of Fish. And they decided to go on their first date on August the 18th of that year. Now, they went out for a night of bowling. And then they came back by his house or apartment for a short time to hang out. Well, after he took her home, he got a text from her saying that she had a really good time. And that she'd like to see him again. Well, that sounds pretty normal, right? Well, less than 24 hours after their first date, Haley arrived back at his home with three men named Andre Warner, Gary Gray, and Joshua Ellington. These three men robbed Adam, and as they did, one of the men shot him in the head. And he laid there begging for his life, and that he kept telling them that he needed to live for his five-year-old daughter. Well... Later, when Haley was questioned by the police, she admitted that she didn't know that um, anybody was going to be killed, but she had been paid $50 to set it all up. All four of the suspects, including Haley, um, they've all been charged with conspiracy to commit robbery, robbery with a deadly weapon, and first-degree murder. But so far, Andre Warner is the only one that's went to trial And he was found guilty of, you know, at his trial. And earlier this year, he was sentenced to the death penalty. And he's currently sitting on Florida's death row. Now, how sad is it that the young father of a five-year-old thought that he had met somebody really cool to hang out with and get to know. And then then less than 24 hours after their first date, he's dead, you know. And there's a five-year-old, or she was five at the time, that would have to grow up without her dad. It's just 
sad and just so wrong on so many levels. Now, in Indiana, a 55-year-old man was beaten to death after he arranged to go out with a woman that he had met on a dating app. And get this, this is so weird. The, the man didn't die at first, uh, apparently, because the next morning after he had allegedly been beaten, a Flora, Indiana couple woke up to find the man unresponsive on their couch. And nobody knows how he ended up there. Um, nobody involved in this whole case is related to the couple who owned the house that he ended up in. Um, now, from there, he was transported to a hospital and later died. The man's name is Willie Smith, Jr. Now, according to the police, 22-year-old Tyrone Leftridge used the telephone that belonged to 24-year-old Cheyenne Brooks Brown to set up the meeting on a dating app called Meet Me. Now, Leftridge said that the meeting was so that Smith could pay $80 to have sex with Brooks Brown, but when they actually met she refused now leftridge he'd been hiding behind a garage that was close by and i'm not sure what caused him to run out like he did but he ran towards and attacked smith with a baseball bat and then robbed him he died from blunt force trauma to the head now leftridge has been charged with robbery robbery resulting in serious bodily injury aggravated battery and murder brooks brown is also charged with robbery and murder now this just happened in june of this year so it hasn't went to trial yet but once it does and i hear more on this case i'll be sure to update y'all now this last one is perhaps the most shocking date out murder and it happened back in 2017 in nebraska a man by the name of Aubrey Trail met a beautiful young woman named Sydney Loof on the well-known app Tinder. Now, Sydney was only 23 at the time. In court, Trail admitted that he strangled Sydney with an electrical cord after she refused his offer to, quote, loop her into a lifestyle of group sex and fraud, end quote. But why did he have to kill her? Well, he said he knew that if he let her go, she would tell people. So, now, apparently, the date was supposed to have been with Trail's girlfriend, and her name is Bailey Boswell. Sydney went missing in November of 2017 after they were supposed to have gone out, but 19 days later, her body was found cut up into pieces and wrapped into plastic bags. Now, at one point in the trial, Trail slashed his own throat in the courtroom after yelling, Bailey is innocent. Now, the entire thing to me is just twisted, any which way you look at it. And he was found guilty and sentenced to the death penalty. Now, Boswell, the girlfriend, she's um, been found guilty, but so far um, hasn't been sentenced. And she has a sentencing um, here and scheduled for November the 8th of this year. And she could very well be the state's first woman ever sentenced to the death penalty. Now, I could keep going on and on with more murders, but I think you get the point that you can never be too careful. Now, this is not to discourage you from using date naps. There's plenty of decent men and women looking to find their significant others out there. But you have to be smart about it. If something doesn't feel right or it feels off, go with that gut instinct. Now, it's much better to just err on the side of caution than having your family identify your body. Now, I can never say it enough when it comes to your intuition. Always, always, always trust it. Well, that's all I have for today's episode. Don't forget to come back on Saturday for the Weekend Weird Files. And this weekend, I'm going to come back with some um, week's um, weird headlines because I believe you guys like that one. Um, but anyway, y'all have a great rest of your week.